Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is July 3rd and tomorrow is the 4th. So what I wanted to do today is show you guys a firework fuse under the microscope. So I have this pack of flowers and I'm going to open these up and we're going to pull out one of the fuses attached to these things and look at that under the microscope. Now I wouldn't ruin a perfectly good firework. So just so you know, if you pull a fuse out of a firework, it doesn't ruin it. It just means you can't light it. So all you have to do is put another fuse back in to that firework or even chop a fuse from a different firework in half and just shove it back into the hole. And I'll show you what, how to do that at the end of the video. So let's take this fuse and get looking at it. Alright, so we are now under the microscope and here is our fuse. Now right away we see this white fiber or this twist of tiny fibers. And you have the green and then on the other end you see another white fiber over here. So it looks like a twist of fibers. So what a fuse is and how it works is the primary component that makes up a fuse is black powder. Now black powder is what causes fireworks to, to burn and explode and the same component is found in the fuse. So what they do is they make this black powder mixture, which is just charcoal and other chemicals. And then they take a paper like substance or structure and they take that and twist it around the black powder. And that's why it looks all twisted or the fuse looks all twisted. And that holds all that black powder in there and it makes so it burns really well. And that's basically what a fuse is. Now, to me, it looks like licorice or green licorice, but we can't eat this one. Now I'm seeing all these little red fibers on here. Those are, my guess is either microplastics or little wood shavings, red wood shavings that they usually wrap or surround fireworks with, or I guess this firework because this one was by some bottle rockets with red sticks. So maybe that's what this is, little wood, wood red pieces or little red microplastics. One thing you might've noticed is how shiny it is. And the reason that is, is because they coat this in wax or a substance called nitrocellulose lacquer, I believe is how to pronounce it. And that prevents it or that makes it waterproof so that you can light a fuse underwater. And that's why people can light fireworks and then throw them under ice lakes and blow things up. Now, I just want to say thank you for watching. And this is not the end of the video, but I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. If you are watching and you're new to the channel, please subscribe and comment below what you would like to see on the microscope. And I will do my best to show it to you. Now, I tried to light this fuse under the microscope, but it didn't really go as planned. What happened is as soon as I lit it, it propelled itself off of the slide and just kind of burned things around it. But I kind of did capture the moments right before it lit and I will show you what that looks like now. Okay, so here's my attempt to light the fuse. As the flame got closer, you can see it starts to melt. Now it didn't actually light this time. And so I tried again and after this time it just shot off the slide and we don't even see anything. So let's get to lighting that flower that we ripped the fuse out of and I'll show you how to put the fuse back in. All right, so I have found this nice wooded area with lots of pine needles and extremely dangerous terrain to light fireworks in. Trust me guys, do not light your fireworks near pine needles or dead grass or debris. You will probably start a fire. Okay, so we have our firework with the hole in it and we have a f another flower with a fuse attached. So we're just gonna put the end of this fuse into that one and we'll have a, a double firework here. Now I'm just gonna light it right down the middle and we'll see how it goes.
Awesome. Okay, they just both lit. And we only started two little fires. That's pretty good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And hopefully I see you on the next video. And happy birthday to Titus and Anna.